Hello, I'm Michael. I'm Noah. And we are the Knights of Entertainment. Uh, we got a chapter update for you. Yeah, chapter 10, uh, 90, 1096 of uh, One Piece. Here we go. We start now, huh? Okay. So, base, okay, so uh, basically, we start in God Valley, and it is going ape shit. They are, the, the celestial dragons are killing all the natives. Like, there's 100,000 people there, and they're just being, like, the fucking men, women, and children just being fucking massacred. It is horrific. And uh, so, uh, the Ivanko and uh, Kuma and Jenny, they have a plan. They're like, okay, in all this chaos, if we can take those treasures like uh that are on the island because uh jenny says that there's uh, one of the most powerful f devil fruits of all time here the one the uh the one that turns uh that gave kato his his uh, kato his dragon powers the uh zor dragon uh, devil fruit they can get that or the pawpaw fruit which is uh, gives you people the uh, person the ability to uh teleport people to uh, i guess not teleport but like send them in a bubble like fucking miles away <laughs> they can go to any other island so they, if if during the chaos they can get these fucking devil fruits and get the fuck out of there, they're just kids and people are getting fucking murdered left and right. That guy that killed the uh, the king of uh, God Valley that was deducted ten thousand points yeah. for the match, he's up a hundred thousand points and winning the like he's already killed that many people. Like they're just like just just it, massacring the fuck out of these people. Fucking horrendous, yes. <laughs> and uh, it uh, so. It, it, the the chapter like just jumped and like it was going off quick like I don't know what the I didn't know what the fuck was going on like it, it cut to Pirate Island mm -hmm. and so the back then Pirate Island was uh, owned by uh, uh, Rocks he was like I guess that was his main base right but right now it's owned by uh, Blackbeard so he he took his old uh, spot so apparently Rox's uh, treasure from the island was stolen and it was used it was being used as a reward in the uh, the hunting game. So he uh, him and his pirates just because uh, the, the entire God Valley is blockaded by the navy, mm -hmm. no one in or out. But the rock pirates just fucking barrel through. They come onto the island. And so now you got fucking Whitebeard, you got Kato without his powers yet. You got uh Big Mom and like uh, four other uh, pirates from the Rocks Pirates, but you don't see Rocks. Like he he runs off ahead. To, to, you still don't know what he looks like to this day. <laughs> like he was like introduced in chapter like five ninety seven. He still doesn't know. No one knows what he looks like. And I got a theory why. After this, uh, so they're now on the island. They just broke through. They're on the island. A uh, Garb heard that for some reason Rogers is going to the island too. So then he goes to the island. So now Rogers and Bogard. His second in command are on the island, and uh, some of the neighbors are happy, like, "Oh, the navy's here to help us." Which I mean, which, uh, Garb will. He's not gonna have people get massacred, no matter who it is. Even though it is a celestial dragon. Yeah. Uh, and then you got Rox and his crew on the island, and apparently this this is gonna be like the the, the definitive battle between the Rox pirates and the uh, Rogers pirates. Like, uh, the Rox here are getting to get their treasure back, the the dragon, uh, devil fruit, mm -hmm. and uh, Rox, uh. For uh, for a year, Roger said he's something's been happening for a year, that's a bit that's upset him. So now he's like he's looking to settle a score. Apparently, like it's just so weird what the fuck is happening. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like there's a lot of foreshadowing of something that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. And uh, all the while, Kuma Ivankov, they they get to the they, they, during all the commotion, they they somehow it, like it it jumps so quick like there was no setup. It's like boom boom boom. And now they're in the fucking like uh, treasure room. Somehow, during all the chaos, they're in the treasure room, and they try to get the treasure, but then Big Mom gets there and stops Ivanka from uh, eating one of the devil fruits. Uh, Kuma eats one of the fruits, and it turned out to be the pawpaw fruit, so he gets the power to uh, send people miles away. Mm -hmm. So he uses it to save, like, 500 uh, of the people that were enslaved or being uh, hunted, and uh, even to him, that was not enough people to save. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, uh, he ends up. Uh, he gets into an altercation with uh, Saint Saturn on the island, and it turns out that uh, because of his buccaneer blood, apparently his race used to worship Nika. Like uh, he said that, and like he he loved Nika as a kid. Mm -hmm. It looks like his entire uh, tribe was a follower of Nika, and that's why Saturn says that his race needs to be killed off. And it's kind of crazy. So that means that uh, anyone that worshipped Nika or they're trying to get rid of yeah to just erase it from history mm -hmm. and kuma is basically the last one of his kind 
Uh, but they, they're able to escape with the pawpaw fruit. And then they skip over God, the God Valley incident. They didn't show it that chapter. They, they show they show uh, Ivankov, Jenny, and Kuma after the events, and they had to come come to an island to uh, live out and uh, hide for a bit. And they start like uh, they just living their life. They're like they're like cutting, chopping wood to sell for money. They're buying food. They're helping people. They're healing people. And Ivankov leaves to go to travel somewhere else. So it's just Jenny and Kuma, and uh, that's it. They nowhere in the news like because uh, the world news is not controlled by. Uh, the government. It's an independent person named Morgan, this big bird, who like uh, he like he just loves sensational news. Like, he'll he'll always tell the truth because it'll always be uh, sensational. But for some reason, he's not talking about what happened at God Valley, hmm. all the people that got murdered. A uh, hundred thousand people were going to be killed in three weeks. That was how long the hunting game was going to be. But because of the Rocks Pirates, the, uh, the Rogers Pirates, and Garp. Something, some huge battle. I don't think it was just Garp and Roger versus Vrox. Right. There's way too many people on that fucking battlefield. We had Saturn, you said? St. Saturn was there, yeah. Uh, you had Whitebeard, fucking uh, Bogart. You had Big Mom. You had Kaido. You had uh, fucking Raleigh, the Shadow King. Raleigh's called the Shadow King because he's basically a king. He would have been a king anywhere else, but because he was behind Roger, he was like the Shadow King. Okay, that's to me that's insane. That's how powerful you are. That if you were not in the shadow of Roger, you would have been yourself fucking like top dog. Right. So you have like some of the most powerful pirates in, of that generation on one island, along with Garp, the only person that can go toe to toe with Roger to begin with, mm -hmm. uh, other than Sengoku at the time. You have Saturn, but no one. I'm assuming Saturn doesn't do anything because else Garp would have known that he was something special, and investigated a long time ago. So he probably leaves. So, so my uh, my question then would be, uh, did Saturn have powers at the time? Oh, I think so, because they're basically immortal. They've been around forever. I mean, way. is it the same powers that he's got now, though? I think so. I think they had them forever. Or was he just not using them there? No, he, he knows when to hide them, apparently. He's not stupid. Oh. Or else, you know, if it's someone like Garp or Roger, like, notice something like that, they'd be like, there's something real fish he's going on. One of the elders has a, a fucking massive levels of power in, in like in the devil fruit, which it had to be a devil, it had to be a Zoan devil fruit for sure, a mythical one at least, from what he showed in the last chapter. But uh, so yeah, we skipped over the God Valley incident because it must be massive for them to just skip over, just say what the, the aftermath without knowing. And none of them, even the kids, don't know what happened because they left before the battle started. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming, and. Um, so that's it for Taylor, chapter 1096. Uh, Shit was fucking wild. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll wait seven days or maybe longer, depending on if it's a bye week. So you have any new theories with that one? I do. So the, the theory of them being that the day that we, we see a person with an eye patch in One Piece will signal that One Piece is coming to an end. I think the reason we haven't seen the rocks in all these years is because he might be had the one with the, uh, the eye patch. Hmm. We still have not seen his face. And every time they show a picture of him, they show him with a little ball and under, over one eye, like a monocle. But never the other eye I've, I've seen these last couple of chapters. So I'm like, maybe he's the one with the eye patch. Hmm. No, they're either that or he's somebody that's so familiar. Like, is that that one guy? Like, maybe so like, yeah. so like, like, it looks like someone's father, you know? Mm -hmm. So it'll be like the most like fucking groundbreaking, you know, like if it was like Roger's twin or something or like, but like, they got different last names. So I guess not or, or something monumental, right? Right. It's either, it's either the eye patch or it's somebody so fucking like uh, well known that maybe like he, he was a weaker state later on and no one knew it was, it was rocks anymore. Cause he w he got beaten by Garp and uh, Rogers so bad he lost all his power. Yeah. Or something. It has to be fucking something, because he still will not show rocks. Hmm. Even like he he even had a scene where all the pirates all his pirates were in in one panel, like fucking Whitebeard, uh, Kato, Big Mom, and like four others. But uh, uh, Rocks had already run off, and like Whitebeard's like, hey, don't run off without us. He was already off panel. They still didn't show him. It has to be something. Hmm. So I guess we'll find out. Hmm. I could be completely wrong, but that's fine with me. Yeah, because they're obviously keeping him off of there for a reason. Yeah, he's got a reason never to show him. Mm-hmm. Like, you just see him in silhouette all the time. Like, just black silhouette. So I wonder if he's related to Luffy, then, maybe. 
Uh, well, his dad's already a uh, monkey D dragon, so there you go, unless he's a cousin or something. Unless they're all fucking cousins with a D name. Uh, I don't know. His name is, his real name, his full name is Zebek D. Rocks. So I don't know. Last name is Rocks, or no, last name is Zebek. I don't know any, there's never been another Zebek in the whole uh, One Piece. Yeah. He must be the last of his uh, family line. Maybe. Huh. We'll figure it out. Once I start churning. <laughs> Once I really start churning. <laughs> like I've, So far I've been like on the outlet, just learning little by little, uh-huh. just for fun. But when I really put in some fucking gears. <laughs> I'll be hitting gear five myself. <laughs> Fucking super detective mode. <laughs> huh. It's got a lot of, uh... It had a lot of meat, but at the same time, it, it hit a lot of stuff. Yeah. Because it just completely skipped over the God Valley chapter. Yeah, that's what I'm... Or the God Valley incident. It had to be a massive battle because it was going to settle between Roger and Rox. Like, in one of the one of the, uh, the Rox pirates even says, like, so this is going to be the one, huh, to uh, settle it all. And like, I guess it is. Because we know that Roger won. Yeah. And like, Garp, on the end. And Garp got all the glory for it. Yeah. Because the government could not allow Rogers to be a hero. That makes me wonder uh, what um, Garp did then with the, the Navy that was there. He's part of the Navy, so... I don't know. What I don't understand is how he would allow uh, the massacre to be uh, quieted down, you know? That's what I'm saying. And like That's weird, yeah. How does he not... Unless he, uh, unless he didn't get, unless he somehow was not uh, aware of that situation. It's a possibility. Like someone could have hit it. I don't know. There's also the Holy Knights there. Garland, that one guy with the 100,000 points. Yeah. He's like a, a warrior too with the Celestial Dragons. And this was, be- uh, this was before uh, uh, Mihawk. Yeah, this is like years, years before. Hmm. He was still a kid when Rogers was executed. He was there, I think, when he was executed. He was like a teenager. Oh, was he? Yeah, like basically when Rogers died, all the main ones now were like basically there watching the, his. It's like it was a big event. Yeah. Huh. I'll figure it out. I mean, there's a lot of questions, <laughs> but there's always questions with One Piece and never enough answers. <laughs> and he just adds more questions. <laughs> the fact that he added more questions with the fucking elders and their fucking powers. After all these years. And that's just another layer. <laughs> yeah, like, it didn't, they've never been even uh, hinted at being anything beyond just regular old men. Not doing nothing really. And now here we are. They're some sort of monstrous beings. <laughs> or the fact that uh, uh, Vivi, one of the, the first uh, temporary crewmate of the Straw Hats, is actually a D member. No one knew that till recently. Hmm. He, didn't even, he didn't even tell us that at all. The uh, Nufertari something tribe, I forgot what they're called. Yeah. But the, the Kings of Alabasta, they're actually D members. Go fucking figure. So she's a D member too. D members is a massive fucking name for some reason. It is some tribe or some some group or something that the fuck they just, that the government, government cannot stand. They cannot stand D members. There's that and then the Buccaneers and then there's. Yeah, the Buccaneers. It's a bunch of things that are being added in now. He said he's gonna, you know, share share all the secrets he's had he's had hidden all these years. Now that now that they're in the, we're in the final chapter, so here we go. Guess what? Next week is ten ninety seven, or the week after. Hey, hopefully it's next week, but you never know. He might need a bye week. He gets tired. Been draw that man's been drawing nonstop for fuck. He's probably the only one's been drawing nonstop. <laughs> There's never been a break in One Piece for more than like a couple weeks. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, oh, like, there's... is he still credited with the art? Yeah, still. I would have. He had to get an eye surgery to because he's been writing, but probably writing for like an inch away. It seems like just drawing. But I don't know if there's any other credits along with him. I guess like some helpers, maybe. Yeah, he might need it. But it's like it's just like it's been nonstop One Piece for like fucking decades now. Now all One Piece fans better hope nothing happens to him. Even if it does, I think he's got a he's got a contingency. You think so? I think well, I know the editor knows the the truth. So if he tells you know he finds the right writers and artists, they they can finish the story. It won't be as good as Oda because it wouldn't be like his hundred percent his vision. Yeah. But I mean, it's better than you know, never finding out what the One Piece is. They kind of did that with um, Berserker. Uh, Berserker was one, and then uh, Kaze no Stigma. That was another one. 
uh, the uh, the anime about the kid that had um, wind power, mm-hmm. and then there was a girl that had a fire sword and stuff like that. Oh. But uh, he only wrote so many, and he died. So it's unfortunate, but it happens. Yeah, that's why I said after this many years, hopefully there's a contingency plan. He'll get it done. But you know, it's funny for him. Like, like almost done is like three years later. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's not like right like next year. Like it's like it's not like January and it's over. No. It's like it's like a couple more years. It's almost done. Five years later. Like yeah, like, five years. We're almost there. Five years is almost done for him. <laughs> we'll be doing this podcast five years from now. Yeah. There's how we're on uh, chapter two thousand. I'll be like I'll be like Charlie Day from the All Be Sunny in Philadelphia movie <laughs> or the TV show where he's like freaking out. Looking for Pepe, Pepe, Sylvia. <laughs> uh, you intrigued me, sir, with your mysteries. <laughs> I will solve them. Eventually, yes, eventually. No, oh, I'll figure out something. It's, I always do. I feel like Peter Parker sometimes in the uh, episode three, or yeah, Spider-Man three. Yeah. Those pictures look very similar. Fucking, he so fucking hugs his. It's you have to watch it to understand what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> that or I feel like the Joker from uh, the Dark Knight when uh, Jim Gordon gets promoted to commissioner mm-hmm. and everyone's clapping and he just starts clapping too <laughs> with the most serious fucking face he's ever had. Like I'm just clapping it over. I see, I see, sir. <laughs> and all the while I'm trying to make my own plans. <laughs> uh, all right, well. We will see you guys next week with... 1097. If not, then the week after. Cool. But just enjoy the uh, chapters of uh, the beginning. Chapter one and probably two. Cool. Three and four. <laughs> and then five and six. <laughs> and then seven and eight. <laughs> I just keep counting till we get 1,900. <laughs> it would be so fucking funny. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next week. 